situations will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebration. Part seven. Who the fuck did I marry? So he should have. I should have been in recovery at Northside Hospital for about an, at most an hour and a half. Um, subsequently, I ended up being in recovery between three to three and a half hours. The nurses kept calling my ex, asking, what's the status? Because they were actually getting ready to do a shift change. So they kept calling, asking, what's the status? What's the status? Like, where are you? I want to say that they called a total of three times and they spoke to him twice. Um, so at this point, I knew that they were all like, where is her, where is her fiance? Like, what is going on? Um, he said he was stuck in traffic and so he was making his way there. He eventually did get to Northside Hospital, um, and they wheeled me down because, um, again, he couldn't come in um, just because of the protocols. So when I got in the car, um, and I'm in pain, but yet drugged up, couldn't keep my eyes open, couldn't really – I was just out of it. But I remember him calling my aunt and my mother and letting them know I picked her up. We're on the way home. Let me get her settled, and then um, I'll give you guys an update. I remember that. What I did not know was that he had texted my aunt and my mom and asked them to not bother me for like a week. Like, just please don't reach out to her. Let her just rest. I am from New Jersey. I am from an African-American family. You don't tell my black mama or my black aunt that, um, you know, please don't bother her for a week. <laughs> I didn't know this at the time, but I'm just interjecting that part. I'm trying to stay in the timeline, but um, he, he did apparently do that. And my aunt was like, well, I will fuck you up. Anyway, so go home. Um, he waits on me hand and foot. I recover. Um, just needed about 24 to 48 hours to just get my mind right. Um, during this time, in between the when the house in Douglasville fell, um, fell through, we had not talked about a house. So I guess it was about a week later after the DNC. He decides that, you know, do you want to start looking for a house again? Excuse me, I have the hiccups, y'all. Do you want to start looking for a house again? Because of what happened with the house in Douglasville, I felt like I was smarter this time to say, you know, I want to be involved in every aspect because I don't know what the fuck happened with that house in Douglasville. But what I do know is that he, he lied to me. I didn't think, I, I didn't know then what I know now. I just knew he lied about putting in, or excuse me, I knew he lied about being under contract. So um, I told him, I said, I don't want to work with your friend who I've never met, never talked to. I know that he has talked to him because he's talked to him in front of me. And I'm going to demonstrate on one of the videos how he used to do his phone calls. Don't worry, it's coming. So we found a new real estate agent. Really nice guy. Um, his name was Scott. I am using his real name. Really nice guy. Um, and we told him what the budget was. And Scott was like, okay, when you guys are ready, we can start looking at houses. Try to look for houses that are empty because you can actually tour those. If it's a house where someone's already living in there, chances are it's going to have to be a virtual tour because of COVID. So I found a house um, that I absolutely, in total, we must have looked at about 15 houses. Um, but I found a house in Smyrna that I absolutely loved. We toured the house. Everything about this house was perfect. The house was listed for 699,000. It was a brand new construction build. The only issue was that the basement was not finished and he wanted the basement to be his man cave. Um, again, I went with him to tour this house. So this was already feeling very different than the situation in Douglasville because we did not actually tour the Douglasville house. We only did a FaceTime um, virtual tour. This house in Smyrna, we toured. We toured this house more than once. Um, and it was, it was gorgeous, fucking gorgeous. So we talked about it. He said that he had the money. Um, again, the price was $6.99. He said he felt comfortable putting in an all cash offer. If you remember on the videos before, he told me he had money in his savings from when he played football. So when he said an all-cash offer, even I knew you 
you got that kind of money? Like, where you can cut a cashier's check for 699000 And he told me he did. He had money in savings um, from when he played football, and he was very comfortable paying all cash for this home. So, the real estate agent, Scott, sent over the paperwork. The paperwork was sent in both of our names. It was sent to my email. Um, that was another thing that I changed after Douglasville. Everything gets sent to me. And then I will be sure that he signs it. So he sent it to me. I looked over the offer. Um, we were asking, excuse me, we were going to put in an all cash full price offer with um, a request to have the basement finished. Also, we were requesting for the seller to give us an answer within 24 hours. Um, we were requesting a quick closing. Um, there's just some of the things I remember. I remember 24, like I didn't want to wait on y'all think about it. 24 hours, let us know if you're accepting the offer or not. And then also a quick closing because it was a, a new construction. So we didn't have to wait for the current tenant to move out. We didn't have to do that. So I watched in our bedroom as he pulled it up because it was a electronic document. He signed his name to the offer for $699,000 cash. He re requested again, the seller let us know in 24 hours if they were accepting the offer. So we submitted the offer at around 6 p.m. We were requesting that by 6 p.m. the next day, they let us know if the offer was accepted or not. I watched him sign the offer. I sent the offer back to Scott from my email. All parties had signed. Scott texted us and said, I got it. I'm submitting it. I will let you know what they say. Let's go into part seven. Sorry. Let's go into part eight. We gone. Stop. We good. Stop. Chill. We on. Chill.